Alright guys, so we're not going to be doing the video that I told you we we're going to be doing about the actual Extreme Z Battle gameplay. Uh, mainly because it's currently like 12.30 in the morning, 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I got out of the gym, I came home, I had some stuff to do around the house, and I'm too exhausted to sit here and do a full actual gameplay video. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it because there's a lot, a lot of people talking and a lot of people are a little bit upset because... So, Extreme Z Battle, once you get past level 20, well, you know what? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and let this Twitter post from, uh, let's see, what is his name? Moemoete. I can't pronounce your name, so I'm sorry if you're watching this video. I apologize. I'm not going to even try to pronounce your name because I feel like I'm not going to, you know, it's going to be really bad. But I'm going to go ahead and play this video for you real quick. So yeah, that was Devilman at 95 million damage getting off his super attack. Now, I don't know exactly what level it is. I know it's after the level that he gets the agility debuff. I don't know how much of a percentage of a debuff that is. It has to be something like 90%. Let's just go back real quick. The guy gets his passive to go off, which if you don't know, Devilman like, has a one-shot KO. or supposed to have a one-shot KO super attack. This dude... Did 95,137,512 damage. That's what he did. And the resulting output was. Oh, well, there we go. Ooh, too far. 4,681,636,000. The dude went from 95 million to 4 million. You're, that that's insane. This is this is just one of the most craziest events that I've ever seen. I got this post from the Reddit, by the way. So shout out to the Reddit. Go ahead, join them. Um, I went through here scouring for as much information as I could possibly find. For possible team building. I did do my own little team uh, setup over here for this event that you could possibly use. Uh, I'm also going to be using dbz.space. Shout out to dbz.space for this. Um, first off, this is for Dokkan Battle Builder. I did do this on my machine as well. This is a team that someone to come up with. I'm going to have to disagree with this team because you have the, su the Super Bardock, the uh, actual Goku, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, cannot be sealed. This will not work. Majin Vegeta, he is an agility unit. While he does link well with the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, that's a super unit. That's an agility extreme unit. Not very good. The only three viable units here that I see go of Golden Frieza Angel, uh, regular Golden Frieza, and Cell. So, uh, yeah, that's that. This team, a little bit better. They're all villains, except for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Uh, I guess he's here because he's a harder hitter. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't run him on the team myself. You might be able to do all right with him. I don't know how much damage he'd actually do once you get past stage 21. Um, but with that being said, this is going to be a little bit of a better team. You can run the two freezes together. You can run the two boos together for HP regeneration. Cell, when he gets some orbs, he becomes a little bit more viable. Yes, Frank, he does become viable on this team. <laughs> if you have some orbs fed into him, now that's the problem. Not a lot of people are, you know... Some of you do have Cell set up to be a really nice unit. And I'm going to tell you right now, when this Technique Cell gets his Extreme Z Awakening, if you're able to take on that event... I mean, let's think of it. If he gets immense damage modifier, he already is getting attack and defense plus 12%. I could see that going up to 12 to 12, between 15 to 18% for every key orb obtained. This man's going to be doing a lot of damage, you know? But this is really a Super Saiyan 3 Goku video for his Extreme Z Awakening. Um, this cell is going to be good for that event, especially if you get an Orb Changer up in there. And now if you bring an Orb Changer, obviously it's not going to be something, you know, uh, that's really, really good because he's not... You know, there's, I don't think there's any Orb Changer listening good orb changers that you can run on this team that's going to take on this event with that being said this is the revival category this is the team that you don't want to base around these are all the cards now think of all these cards now like get that down to like one fifth or two fifths you can only actually yeah probably only one fifth you need to bring an extreme unit and you need to bring a technique or an intelligence unit that's bring that just lowers us all the way down there there are some units in here um I, the team that i did for building i didn't include like a lot of the i didn't include any ssr actually so like someone like demigra over here who is technically fits that category i didn't put him on the team uh just because he's not a tur he this his passive skill for stunning doesn't work anyway so it's not like it really even matters um, i didn't bring any heroes in here but uh that's just because you know it doesn't really matter i think he what is it super damage reduced from strength 
regardless, super extreme, blah, 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 uh, yeah. So he reduces damage to level 20, then reduces damage from agility, strength, and physical regardless, and from all super type characters, and immune to super attack seals. This is right, really where it starts to get hard. And this is where it actually matters. So, um, yeah, it's very difficult. Until level 20, you have a, more of a free reign. So uh, make sure you go over here to the Reddit post, follow this. This is the, again, as I said in my last video, Super Saiyan 3 Goku Extreme Z Battle in-game info. That's going to help you, you know, figure out who you can bring up until what level. Um, now, this is the team that I had put together. Um, obviously, the, the ones on the bottom are really going to be, like, uh, the, 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 the cards that are going to be replacements. Um, now, obviously, not everyone's going to have the LR Bojack and a secondary LR Bojack. But optimally, that's who you're going to want to run. They share six link skills, their intelligence, their extreme. They hit off all their key. They hit off all their attack buffs. Um, they're going to be doing a lot of damage against the Agility Goku. Yes, they're not Technique, but it's alright. They're going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, up top, the best two are going to be the Technique Golden Frieza and the um, the Revived Angel Golden Frieza. Uh, they share some Link skills, uh, essentially 30% up and four, 4 key, which is really awesome. But yeah, that's all that they have that's really available between the two of them. Uh, this is going to be your optimal setup. And then on rotation for floaters, you're going to have the Korra. Korra... Uh, has uh, is an attack plus 30%, key plus 2 for all allies, and then extreme, or um, Demon King Piccolo, who is, his passive skill is key plus 3, um, and then like attack plus something for extreme types. Uh, whatever that is, actually we'll go over here, because I know Demon King Piccolo is over here with a TUR, and it is just key plus 3, attack plus 25% up for extreme types. So that's why he's there. So uh, that's going to be your optimal, and then if, if you have these guys and you're going to have another Frieza uh, on rotation, honestly, you're going to be able to do that event as many times as you want to, because I think after level 31, it stays the same difficulty, so as long as you can beat it, that'll be fine. Um, your only two real subunits that I that I could see personally is if you don't have the LR Bojacks, um, is the Intelligence Kid Boo and the Cell, uh, maybe Majin Vegeta. The thing is, Majin Vegeta doesn't link with anyone. Uh, except for these two guys, so you're going to really be dependent on them, and you need to have these two support units over here. Uh, the thing is, okay, so OG players are not going to have a hard time with this event, because the Korra was a very common pull back in the day, at least it was for me. I saw it a lot, and a lot of the other guys who I've been watching videos since before I even started doing YouTube I pulled a lot of this guy. He's a good support unit. Demon King Piccolo is really, he's a Dragon Ball Saga summon. Um, he is more rare to pull, I would say. But you can pull him. He's uh, definitely someone you can pull without any problems, as long as you're actually active in the world tournaments. Again, yes, it is RNG. I understand that, but you know, uh, you should you, you should have at least one of the two of them. Uh, if you don't have any of them, then I'm very sorry about that. You're gonna have to look for another support unit. Any other support unit will suffice. Just make sure it's a technique one, uh, an extreme technique one. I think that's gonna be your best bet to not take damage from Goku. Anyway, um, yeah, this kid, Boo, over here is probably going to be a good bet. Uh, you would want to keep these two still linked together, the Golden Frieza and the uh, Angel Golden Frieza. And it's really just going to be Boo and Cell doing their damage, doing their thing. They have, the, honestly, once you go for, uh, underneath the 80% and get that attack and defense buff, that's all you could really rely on, then you're going to need to make sure you have that key support because there's no key between these guys, you know, unlike the, the two Friezas that link together. Um... Honestly, I don't know any other teams that can win uh, reliably that I can tell you to run on this event. If you guys know down in the comments below, please let me know. I'll go ahead, like, like send me screenshots or something. Go on to Facebook or um, just let me know down in the comments if you have an image. Go on to Imager and show me the team that you ran along with, like what you used to beat them. And I'll go ahead and I'll create a secondary video at some point later on in the week uh, going over that information. But this is a very difficult event, apparently. Um, I'm going to try it at some point. I just don't have time. Honestly, I'm probably not going to have any time at all this week. Uh, I, I probably won't be able to get you a good video until, until probably Saturday for this. But um, yeah, guys, uh, this is who I'm going to recommend for you to run. I think this is probably going to be your best uh, setup. If you don't have this other Bojack, Bojack links decently with Cell. So, or Because he only shares two link skills, but he does link with Cell. Uh, for Big Bad Bosses and Resurrection, so there's a little bit of key there, uh, and LR Bojack's going to do some decent damage. But uh, again, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. Uh, according to this one over here, the two boos are really decent to link together because it's an extreme technique boo. They have like the regeneration link, and they hit off some uh, attack, and I believe some key links between the two of them. Uh, but overall, I mean, it's a very difficult event, guys. 
But, um, yeah, that's it. Um, let me know again what you guys are running down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll catch you all later.